It's the 15th anniversary of Tanya Morgan's Brooklyn Addy, but it's also the 25th anniversary of OK Player. Yes, as it a is. As a website, as a whole. And it's safe to say... True site since 99. True since 99. It's safe to say that OK Player invented this chronically online shit. It's safe yeah. to say. Like it's, it invented, I won't say it invented the internet, because there had to be internet for it to, to get there. But social media as a whole, it kind of filled in a lot of those gaps. Mm -hmm. um, we were both at the front lines on the message board, you know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. made, I was an honorary moderator. You were a moderator, in, like not honorary, you were an actual moderator. You could delete people's shit, you mm -hmm. have power. I still can. You can go in there and just nuke the whole <laughs> board if you want to. I but still can. What was your overall experience like on that website? Like how did, first of all, how did you even find the message boards? Okay, so I became a Roots fan and you know, became a Roots fan from Distortion of Static. Long story short, I bought um, Illidelph Half-Life and it had all these notes in it yep. from Quest. I'm like, this is cool. He's like, this is like a book with an album. Cool. Got the next oh, album. Man, I, I got to pause you real quick. I love Quest's liner notes. Yes. Like before he became like a published author, New York yeah. Times bestseller, his liner notes, man, like I, I wish I would have kept all my CDs. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, he, could, he could publish those and make a book. Absolutely could. So I got the, I didn't know that was the thing. So I had got the uh, next Roots album. I'm giving you the whole long story. I remember hearing 100% um, Dundee on the radio and saying to myself, oh, this feels like Illidelph Half-Life. So let me go get it again. Let me go get the, cause I still was a casual fan. Yeah. So I bought it. Every song had like some different creative thing, like the, the beat fading out or just all this awesome stuff. And I'm reading it and I'm like, yo, I'm a fan fan now. I love these dudes. So, I sort of, if I'm not mistaken, okplayer.com was in the liner notes, but it still didn't, I still didn't go to the site. I had AOL, You've Got Mail, Welcome, yeah, one or whatever, one whatever you Free hours say. of CDs, yeah. yep. And on the little welcome page, it was like a super close up of Quest and this, and this and the Afro. I click it, it takes me to OK Player like the first week or two. And it's like blog entries of him. And I was like, wait, there's a website? I didn't know about blogs or none of that. So I'm like, there's a website where he's like doing liner notes every day. Like that's what it was in my brain. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So I would go there and just look at him or Angie writing stuff every day. And one day there was a, a link to the boards. That so, was the first hit of crack. Like that was for Viper. That was, that was. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't say, but you know, we're all, we're critical artists. We're critical yeah, artists. Yeah. We love music, we're critical artists. Quest was being critical of a of a producer, and I, ju I I registered and jumped on OK Player just to be like, Yo, Quest, stop hating. <laughs> and he, he actually was... replied, and he's like, Nah, brother, I'm not hating. I just think, you know, he can do more. He can push more with his his sound. And then I was like, He spoke back to me, and I stayed. And I wasn't yeah. like now you have more people that just say bullshit just so that an artist can respond. But back then, I literally was like, Yo, don't hate. I like you. I like him. Don't hate. Yeah, yeah. But, but then he responded, so I just kept talking, and I just stayed on OK Play. I met you shortly after. You heard my first recorded song ever that I ever made. Look at that. OK Player, bringing people together since 1999. Fact. But that was essentially what the website was for, just to create that discourse so that he could be more humanized and not be a dude on the drum yeah. on stage and didn't vanish into the ether. It's a special place, and I don't want to wax too poetic about it. We got a limited amount of time. Is there anything from that time that you remember that you still carry, like a, a like sort of rule. Like like you you saw you saw war from the front lines. Did you come home and like are you not eating with your back towards the door? Like what's the <laughs> thing? <laughs> as as an artist, as a creative person, um that was the, the realest place and you know these it, it, I feel like it was the most genuine, sincere place, especially at the time, because it was like these are just people listening to a song and they don't know if if Common is reading it or if you yeah. know if D'Angelo's reading it or Jill Scott's reading it. They're just like, I heard this new Black Star song. I like I like Quali's verse, I ain't like Moses' verse. And that's it. Where now it's more like, hey, at Yasin Bay, I want you to know that yeah. I don't like that shirt you had on. Respond to me. But back then it was just like, yo, this is whack, this is not whack. And people, people like myself, we, you know, that were early out there, you know, back to like little brother, even, you know, I would say Quest at the time was taking what people were saying and it was genuine and would go back to the studio and say, maybe we should change this. So, you know, somebody in the studio may have said, 
I don't like the snare drum on that, but mm -hmm. it was people on in the lesson that were actually like beat nerds, like that snare is wrong or, or whatever. And you would go and change it. Like there were times when I've been up there and they, and they would say, I don't like the way you chop your samples. Yeah. But then that made me get better. There was like, yo, this nothing's happening in this track. So then we come back and now there's more movement in the track or whatever. So it was still a place to get better. And I still take that with me and not everybody is trying to just get a rise out of you.